Well, the one thing that's coming out right now that I feel we, we haven't grasped and the Innovation Task Force did not grasp enough, in my opinion, is, is the whole cloud and cloud computing and the power of the internet. I mean, the cloud is all about really taking the power of the internet and giving you as a consumer services on demand, when you want, on whatever device you want, on any device, on a, on a phone, on a PC or a netbook, on a TV, on a browser. And we're not really set up to take advantage of that yet. And by that I mean, you know, if you look at applications and applications development, and, and the IT industry is kind of founded on applications development, the app is back in vogue. It's, it's back. And, you know, we, 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 could, we could take a really big leap by helping kids in secondary school and in third level get a lot more focused and learned on on application development. And, and that's not just about uh, new technologies, actually. It's about, as you can see, with all the apps that are out there today, if you look at, you know, if you look at the iPhone, the amount of apps that are out there, a lot of them aren't new technology. They're, they're business processes. Help you, you know, calculate invoices, help you calculate VAT, help you do whatever you need to do in business. And that kind of stuff can be, I think, enormous. There is a chance, and actually what's going to happen is, um, I think when you, when you look at the way apps are going to explode in the next couple of years, I think a lot of the public sector um, kind of efficiencies are going to come through the better use of apps in the health sector. I mean, why do you need to go to a doctor every time? Couldn't you go online onto a web app on your phone and kind of put in your complaint and, and get some kind of rudimentary assessment of you? And, and stuff like that's going to reduce waiting queues. And I mean, all that thing is going to happen, be it mobile or be it fixed. And, and I don't think one or other is going to be you know, going to win out in a very short time, although mobile seems like it's going to be pretty big in the, in the long run. So we definitely need to put the broadband discussion back up at the, at the top of our things that we need to do. And it's a big investment decision, but there's so much business there for telcos, for mobile providers, for software companies, and for the public sector to, to, um, to, to kind of gain and so many things to gain. It's a price worth paying. I feel very, very, very proud of the fact that we've got this data centre here, John. Really, really proud. It's an asset that countries all over the world want because we can bring customers, students, developers out there and show them, you know, show them the 40, 50, 60 racks in a server, the scale of efficiency that we can get, the 88 racks in a server that we've got. So we can show people this scale and it really brings the power of the cloud home to you when you see the power of the internet home to you when you when you see that scale. But I think the challenge you know, will be about how do we then build the application development mindset in the education system to get people developing on, on applications. We have in Ireland about 400 companies right now developing on Azure, up on Azure, which is our windows in the, in the cloud, um, which is a terrific development platform. So what we're saying to customers now is if you're going to develop on Windows, don't do it on premise. Look at Azure, develop in the cloud and take, take advantage of incredible kind of scale and savings that you can make. And, you know, having 400 up there is a great start, but there's no reason why in two years' time we couldn't have 4,000 small companies, startup companies, and so on going to the cloud. Because what the cloud does is significantly reduce the barrier to entry for people. If you're starting a business or you want to take your business to the next level, you, you know, it, you know, kind of high-end computing and, and information systems used to be the preserve of big companies, that they were the only companies that could afford it. But actually the cloud kind of breaks that and, and makes it available to everybody, the smallest companies, the startup companies. And I think it's a big miss in the innovation task force actually, that we're not putting enough focus behind this.